Now to a power outage in Miramar, but storms are not to blame this time around. Sky 10 flying over the scene after a power pole came crashing down onto a vehicle. Thankfully, no one was in that vehicle at the time. And Local 10's Roy Ramos joins us live now from the scene with what they think happened here. Roy. Well, I just spoke with the owner of that truck and he tells me this is likely because of low lying power lines in this area. When a dump truck pulled those power lines, ultimately pulling that pole down on top of his vehicle, you can see the damage right there. I just got a chance to speak with him. He tells me he's just fortunate he was not in that truck at the time this all happened. Getting ready for work. Heard a big crash. Pole was right in this hole. Miramar resident Kyle Miller waking up to the sound of a loud crash to later find out a wooden power pole had toppled right on top of his truck. Dump truck came to the neighborhood because they're doing local construction and the carrier bridge that covers all the mess in the back of the trucks caught the power line and pulled it down. The power pole snapped straight through at the base, tearing down a fence, then shattering all the windows of his vehicle after it crashed right onto its cab. It's pretty bad. It's really bad. The whole cab's gone. Miramar police said it was just after 8.30 in the morning. The dump truck was traveling in the area of Westlake Place and 34th Street when it clipped a low-lying power line and pulled down the pole. Well, it caused power outages to a handful of homes. It's construction crews that residents say have been a major concern. A week ago Friday, the one of the trucks came through the area and pulled on the wires again, and the cable wires and the power lines were arcing together, so we had no power for about five hours that day. As Miramar police now investigate the cause of the crash, it is Miller just fortunate no one was seriously hurt. I could have been in the truck getting ready to leave for work. I could have been leaving for work. I mean, I could have been walking out of my front door and it came down. I mean, there's a lot of worse scenarios. But fortunately, that driver was not injured in any of this. Now, I did ask Miramar police if that driver of the dump truck would be cited. They said while they are investigating it, it appears not because those power lines were low lying. As for the power outage out here, crews with FPNL tell me they're now working to restore power to about six to seven homes out here. And you can already see that they do have that new power pole in the back of that truck. They are working to get it back in the ground and get this power back up for residents who live out here. For now in Miramar, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News.